Hello everyone and welcome by the Orchid Saga. Welcome by uh, this Bloom Buds and such uh, video, which is technically uh, basically an update on things that uh, are happening inside of the greenhouse and sometimes some uh, updates uh, about other things, uh, which is the such part. But uh, yeah, I personally like uh, these videos. I like me making these videos, but I also like uh, watching this type of videos on uh, other growing uh, our, our ch target channels, I sh should say, uh, because um, yeah, it's just nice to uh, to look around in uh, in collections, and for example, uh, just to show these just opened new blooms. This is a first time bloomer, and it's such a beauty. I'm not sure uh, how the camera does pick up, but they have a almost bluish uh, color to them. It's more a lilac pinkish color but it also has sometimes just depend on how the light is hitting it it is also almost a little bit bluish and this is my sea breeze and the name tag is stuck so i hope you can see it sea breeze there it is i think i re root did uh, catch the tag but it's this orchid, it's beautiful. It's doing well, it has uh, beautiful uh, aerial roots here as well. Fairly long, as you can see. And to be honest, it has also quite some roots in a pot. I don't going to lift it, but this bulb was from earlier this season and I did expect this one to bloom, but it decided to uh, make a new growth, which is this one. And it's still growing, but it already uh, did push out two uh, fairly large blooms, as you can see. So yeah, maybe it was a little bit too young. I don't know. I, well, actually, I think I had it placed somewhere else where it didn't get as much light. So probably it needed a little bit more light. So yeah. So next to is, is also so beautiful. Look at those roots, you guys. Ancelia Africanas, my two ones. I have two of them. This one is still working on a spike here i hope you can see that there this is the spike and yeah i'm not sure this one is this spike is going to make it because we are heading into fall and winter so i hope i can uh, give it uh, a, yeah enough light to develop that spike i'm not sure this is the first time i uh, have them uh, going into uh, fall and winter completely settled in the setup both of them as you can see so uh, we shall see what uh, what will happen and then today it's a watering day for my vendas and some beautiful things might happen already started but we may have some more let's uh, have a look this one uh, i think this is the first time that i have two spikes on this one and uh, i just give them their name tags on the vase it's the uh, misaka white angel and this one, like I said, the first time I have two beautiful spikes on this one. And then next to it, it is just called uh, Vanda Orange Brown. And I saw it this morning while I put, was putting the water in. You cannot see it there, but somewhere are also two nubbins start, starting in between those leaves. So if they do properly develop, we will also have two spikes on this one. And then we have this. This is my pride and joy. This is the yellow one. I really love this one. This is so beautiful, established in my uh, my care. But the same story. This one is also working on two spikes there. Well, actually, it's not the same story because well, two spikes there. So probably two there. Um, I just repeated myself a few times. I'm sorry, but I was thinking uh, about the cakey because that one has also a nubbin, one nubbin in, down in there. I just cannot show it, but yeah, this is a, uh, obviously a basal cakey and how nice it would be that we have get two spikes above there and one there with those beautiful big yellow blooms. They are so beautiful. Next to it, this one is did, uh, barely had any roots, but it did grow this two very large roots this season. So no spike there, but it's doing uh, fairly well. And then we have also two spikes on this one. So this one is just opened up here. And look at the colors. It's so beautiful. 
beautiful but there on the left you can see we uh, do get another spike and this one is carrying about seven keikis in here so yeah one day we will have more ro uh, roots uh, uh, as well but uh, spikes <laughs> in here it's a beautiful one then we have my most saddest one it's the blue magic but i think it's doing better now i think the the color of the leaves is starting to darken up a little bit. This was always a little bit lighter color-wise on the leaves. But yeah, I really, really nearly lost this one. But it's starting to grow uh, into uh, new roots as well into the water reservoir. And yes, this one, because I have a stem in the water, I didn't have any problems. And I do this for about six months or even longer. But otherwise, I couldn't water these roots. And it really, really needed to to have the water because it was dehydrated very badly so i took my ch chances here but uh it does do well these guys don't want to bloom for me yet as is this one the vietnamica but this one looks like it's making a cakey here i hope you can see it there you see a little pointy stick there that's the cakey i think maybe it's a will grow into a flower spike, I, but I doubt it, I doubt it really. And then we have a new one. This is a Vena Densoniana Orange. I didn't do an uh, unboxing on this one. But as you can see, I have the, had a yellow one already, which is doing obviously uh, very great as well. It has so much more roots than in the beginning of this year, but it's fairly small. The orange one is a little bit bigger, well, actually quite a little bit. <laughs> but now I have both of them. I want the yellow one and the orange one. So I had these off my wish list because they are here. Very hard to find in Europe blooming size. So therefore I have a, a little bit uh, smaller ones, but they will get there. I can really get them established in my care. And then we have the Tessalada Alba, which is also growing fairly well. So that's about the Vendas. Let's go over here and look at these guys. <laughs> Just starting opening up her blooms. This is the Lycasta, the white one. No idea. So that's beautiful. And uh, above that, we have my Cardassidium types. And this is the first time I have my f f Fred Clark, Liara Clark, <laughs> uh, after dark blooming. I should uh, grab the tag because otherwise you, you are um, like, what the heck is he talking about? Fred Cleara, Cleara After Dark, SOV Black. So yeah, I have a bit of a difficulty to pronounce that first part of the name. I apologize, but this is a very common one because of those black blooms, which are, I think, a very dark red purple color, but they appear almost black and they are beautiful. Beautiful. And the one next to it, I had in bloom this is a first time bloom actually this one bloomed on this big cane last year it's my uh, twine gold it made another thick, uh, thick uh, bulb as you can see and you probably saw it already it's starting a spike here but it's also starting a spike here i hope you can see it so we might have two spikes on this one so that's beautiful then down here are the buds. This is also a first time bloomer. It's the Wine Delight Gem. So it should be beautiful red blooms. And next to it is my sh Super Swan. And this one did bloom last year, but I don't see any blooms yet. But I do expect blooms because the bulb is, well, probably maybe a little bit bigger than the one before and the size the thickness is about the same maybe this one is even a little bit thicker but this one might still be even growing we have some root tips there so who knows but i have an opening here but i don't see a ball thing coming out a little bulb there so who knows but yeah overall beautiful so we have some uh, black and white going on <laughs> these blooms are very beautiful very strange shape look at that inside of that lip yeah i think these are these are very uh, beautiful then 
something new for me. This did bloom for me before. It's the uh, Zeleme Minia Midas. And it has beautiful, uh, two beautiful spikes, fairly long. As you can see, it's all the way up here and then connected to the plant over there. So that's something to look forward to as well. Something new as well for me. Then let's get over here. Look at this. This beautiful bouquet. It's a little bit later in the year, maybe because I have it in a greenhouse, I'm not sure, but this is my Dendrobium Chrysanthemum Orange. You have a yellow one, it's more common, but I uh, did find the, uh, the orange one. Back in the days I had no idea that the orange one isn't as common as the yellow one, but look at those beautiful blooms. A very nice honey fragrance to them. Beautiful orange waxy blooms with that beautiful dark red in there. Beautiful. Fairly long. This is not the longest cane it did make. The plant is uh, all the way up there in that red basket there. And it does it all the time. It, when it starts blooming, it also starts making new a new growth. So far it started one and later on in the season it starts another one. So yeah, like I said, this is not the longest skein. I think this is the longest. It goes all the way up here and then here and then all the way down here. And you can see quite some uh, buds there and we have a little cluster of buds there. It's kind of funny. So I didn't measure this one, but uh, came before, which is actually this one. I did measure, it goes all the way up to here, 220 centimeters. I had no idea when I bought this one that this one can get so big. And I think this one is, uh, is uh, about the same size. It makes some strange shapes, etc. But it will, uh, will it's similar. I've, it may be even longer, I'm not sure. So yeah, that one is, uh, is beautiful, obviously. And then right next to it, or almost next to it, we have a first bloomed open on my Zimbidium. The yellow one, the first one that I uh, did I uh, had. Fairly big one, it has uh, four spikes in total. We have one here, there, there, and obviously this one. So I think I'm, uh, I'm doing better with the, with this, uh, uh, did I say Zygo? Zimbidium. And we did, uh, not that long ago, we did a uh, repotting on this one, that one, and that one. So far they are doing fine, I think really starting to settle in and I did the same with this one so yeah I think in my setup in my climate these uh, do like this uh, this setup because we have this one is, is go showing beautiful very strong and long spikes so I think it uh, is doing well and then we will look over here do we have something new here not really some updates uh, I have still quite a lot of those dendrobiums in bloom. Um, so this one is also a new one. It's beautiful. Maybe my favorite one. It's such a beauty. It's the dendrobium dragon jade number one. So yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. I knew something was here that I wanted to show you. It's this one. <laughs> the rest will be in a uh, blooming update, obviously. Do we have more news? Yes, it's uh, finally up to season again. So I definitely see spike developments. Quite a few actually, like in there. You see the old ones, but you see a more greener one as well. You see the spider's web and then the light color one is a new one two spikes there. For example, well next to it here and another one. And just go up. Oops, let me have a look. Where are you? It's behind that leaf. Yes, there we are. I'm sorry. But I was zoomed in. We see a spike there. And I don't know if you see both of them, but they, there are two spikes there. So let's zoom out. It's, uh, there are more here, you guys, L like this one, for example. See here, there, just above my finger, a spike. We have a spike. Beautiful. <laughs> uh, well, 
actually just we had this one just above it a spike and next to it a spike above it a spike next to it <laughs> yes seriously guys i hope you can see it yeah there that's also a new spike and then we go next to that one you see that one already has a spike but let's zoom in there you see it new spike let's go downwards to this fell here do you see it already new spike um and this one doesn't oops this one i don't see that's an older spike and this one as well not yet and that one doesn't seem to have a spike as well then we have my Shirliana. whoops i'm sorry there it is a spike then above, downwards, more downwards, double spiking on this one. Yuxing beaming sun. First uh, time that I real, will uh, rebloom this one. It's beautiful. Down here, spike, old spike and a new spike. Next to it, a just starting spike but it's actually a secondary spike because this one is also new and it just opened up her first bloom so two spikes basically and a branch as you can see here and so you can see it better i think and then here we have this little one this is also a named one as you can see so very a very variation a variety i'm sorry noblest uh there you go a spike then downwards we have these two little ones um this is the cupid cupid yep on cupid also making spikes two yeah two spikes it's nice then mini mark uh, i'm not sure oops i'm sorry it's a bit hard to film this one do we see a spike yes can you believe it mini mark mini mark you're doing fine <laughs> oh and then this beautiful red one it's still blooming it for as long as i have it it's almost a year or even longer i think it always had some blooms on it because they let let it keep the spikes and look at this whoops there it's starting another one so yeah that's beautiful this one i don't hope this one is making a spike because this one could use a little bit more energy in to the leaves i can't believe it do you see that one yes <laughs> also a new spike well it's fine it has obviously a good root system but i was hoping to uh, that it would make this one can have fairly large leaves so uh, but anyhow i i just let it go it is uh, it's should be able to support uh, herself and this one is still blooming but it's more like a summer bloom i believe yeah this one is not making a spike but here we have a spike plus a basil cakey so yeah overall you guys because we didn't watch that area and believe me there are at least three of them you can see this big one i, I think well it's is also making a spike it's already uh, more developed here i noticed that one make a spike and the purple one down there as well this one you can see there also making a spike uh, down here this is a yellow one look at that so yeah this could be getting towards the best blooming season i will get from them who knows who knows do we have more here um, this one no and some leaves so yeah yeah oh yeah this one this is a cakey this cakey is making this one i didn't rebloom for years but the cakey decided to make a, a spike <laughs> so that's uh, that's nice so anyhow yeah i'm really looking forward yeah i think 
Last year was, was wonderful. Can you remember the videos that I have? A, 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 they call it a sea, sea of flowers. So yeah, this year we probably will have the same effect, maybe even more, who knows, who knows. And I think I didn't change much, but it, I, I think, the, yes, of course the plants do get older and they get even more established in this uh, setting than they did before. And I think that's why they start putting up those beautiful shows of very uh, large, rich, color-wise, very rich blooms, because they do get more established and they, uh, they like the climate so far, so uh, really looking forward to, to that. So let's have a look inside of the orchid room for some uh, updates. And I have a few here as well. First of all, we have this one. This one is so stunning. Look at those blooms. I hope you can see them. They are a little bit strange shape, but they are so, so beautiful. We have more to come. I believe we have at least two more. This is, I will get the tag to be sure. Solazini Linda Boccoli. And I did forget the uh, A here. It's a Linda with an A on the end. So I did forget that letter, but then you have an idea of the plant. Yes, he is beautiful, beautiful. Down here we have, this is the, I ha still have it as the Adaglossum, Adaglossum French Town. It's now reclassified, I believe, but I don't mind it much, to be honest. But look at that, it's just starting opening up on the spike. But did you see it already in the middle of the screen? Can't believe it or not, but it make, it's making three spikes at the same time. I never had it happen, and I see some spike even coming from the apex, I believe. So yeah, three spikes. Beautiful. Beautiful color, colors on those blooms, I think. Then one more, yeah, this one is starting to open up. We did have this in the last blooming update, if I remember correctly. This Oncidium, but look how yellow that is. It's so bright, beautiful, very, very long spikes. And quite a lot of more blooms to come. This one, you guys, this one is so beautiful. I say that with everyone, but there are a few that I, I found them really breathtaking. I, I, I hope I don't sound silly, but I love these guys. Look at those blooms. And fairly big, if you see it in comparison to my hand. I do not have very large hands, but you can see, very beautiful. And that spike, look how long it is. It's already uh, all the way starting there. And it's starting to, to bend, of course, because of the weight of the blooms all the way up there. And it has three branches on the way. So we have a branch here, we have a branch here and there. And then it has its own uh, blooms on the, the original spike, I should say. I'm not sure, but some buds to open. So yeah, this one is never bloomed so well before. Never did. Never did. And then in the back, you see those little teeny tiny <laughs> spikes. You probably already know which type of orchid these are, but these are my twinkles. And they look very promising. Take quite a lot of time, but we will have some beautiful displays coming up in the next, well, we, I think we have at least to wait two more months, but then uh, they will uh, start to uh, open up, I think. And this is uh, one of the parents, Sotwanum. Sotwanum. <laughs> Beautiful, right? Yeah. And then we have this one. This is a first time bloomer. I think I mentioned that as well. But this one has a beautiful, nice fragrance as well. And I don't think, I'm not sure if it showed a tag before, but it's the Odontocidium Hensuli Eisler. And it's a young one. So this is the first time it's blooming. It's now uh, old enough, but uh, very nice rich colors. And then we have my Nelly Eyeless, of course. The one in the middle did stop blooming. This one is now done, but I have the orange one, Swiss Beauty orange, and the Swiss Beauty in bloom. And this one has four spikes hanging here. And look at this one. This is the last one to open up. 
but fairly big for a Nelly Eiler, I believe. At least in my case, I couldn't bloom them that well. But then I started to give them a little bit more natural daylight, well filtered of course, but a little more, more sunlight instead of only artificial light. And uh, that seemed to do, did the trick for these guys. So yeah, there's always something to talk about these orchids, I know. <laughs> And yeah, we did. Whoops, we, that was a piece of pumice, I believe. <laughs> we did see that one in my uh, last Saigo repotting. Only thing that I want to mention in this video as well, I hope you can show it because I have such a strange setup for this guy. This is my Draco Bella. You see an old spike, but behind that one, here it is. Well, it's fo not focusing on that one, but you can see it. A new spike. But it will touch the glass, so I have to come up with uh, with my plan. But that's for later on. I will try to grab the basket with with a uh, with a hanger and lift it up a little bit. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. But it will be for another video. But at least that one is spiking again. So yeah, this is uh, for now the bloom buds and such. The update. Um, I don't think I did miss anything so far. Like I said, it's always something. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed these videos as well. Like I said, I really enjoyed them myself. I like to make them and do some uh, regular updates on things that are just going on. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. For now, thank you for watching. And of course, I really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye bye.